Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be across this beautiful blue-green globe of ours. Welcome to Real News Live. I'm your host, Mike Barra in Seattle, Washington. This is a Deep Thought Thursday, and we will try to get as deep as we possibly can. Nice to have everybody here. Not a whole lot of stuff in the news. Everything is on hold. Everything is waiting. They're trying to cut off. Um, they are trying to cut off. Thank you, Ben. They're trying to cut off the truckers. They're trying to cut off the internet in uh, Canada. It's been a really interesting situation. Um, there have been lots of rumors about what might happen up there, but there's also some election stuff in the news. 2020 election fraud in the news, which we should go ahead and uh, talk about. And uh, the first one is that um, actually in uh, Hawaii, the uh, Democratic governor has decided that he's not going to require tourists to be boosted as the COVID narrative falls apart. Uh, Hawaii's Democrat Governor David Igg, or Igg on Tuesday announced will no longer require travelers to be fully vaccinated and boosted in order to skip the mandatory quarantine. Just a few weeks ago, he announced travelers who do not have the COVID booster will be ordered to be quarantined for five days. Uh, just a few weeks later, all of a sudden there's a reversal. Um, and he said uh, in a tweet, there's been much speculation about booster requirements for travelers arriving in Hawaii. I want to emphasize that the program remains unchanged at this time, and boosters will not be required for up-to-date status. It remains unchanged as if they, in fact, ever uh, allowed people to come in without boosters. Um, in mostly making this decision, I took into account declining COVID-19 case counts and hospitalizations, as well as Hawaii's robust vaccination rate. What a bunch of bullshit. In reality, what's happening is that the whole thing is coming apart. It's coming apart worldwide. It's being driven primarily by this. Joe Biden's poll numbers are going down. They continue to go down. And the Real Clear Politics average poll, which is boosted up by five or six completely phony polls, showing him above 40%. Joe Biden never had more than 40% approval. He never got more than 40% of the people to vote for him. He never got 81 million votes. It was all fraud. And the reality is, is that Biden's poll numbers have been around 30% at best the entire time he's been in. And what's happening now is that it's becoming so overwhelmingly obvious that they literally cannot disguise it anymore. Biden's approval rating drops below 40% for the first time in the average of major polls, blah, 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 blah. Biden job approval drops below 40% and real clear politics average 39.8% approved, 54.4% disapproved. It's actually way worse than that. Um, and you can see clearly here the pattern is very, very awful for Joe Biden. This is the disapproved. This is the approved. They have it crossing over about a year ago. Uh, bullshit. Joe Biden was never, ever, ever, ever popular with anybody. He never had an approval rating above 50%. Um, and they're trying to say that uh, Trump's approval was 42%. That was completely suppressed. The reality is Joe Biden is the most unpopular president in American history, at least since Richard Nixon at the end of Watergate. And uh, he's going down and there's really no hope for this administration at this point. So that's why that they are lifting all of these COVID, um, COVID restrictions worldwide. Now, in terms of the election stuff, there are currently over 5 million gateway pundits pundit reports. There's over 5 million questionable, unlawful, or spurious ballots identified in the 2020 election in Pennsylvania, Georgia, and Arizona. Will the Republican Party do anything or will they allow this to continue? Now, just in case you ask, flipping those three states, Pennsylvania, Georgia, and Arizona, give Donald Trump the victory over Joe Biden in the 2020 presidential election, which we all know is what really happened in Arizona. Around a million ballot issues have been identified to date since the 2020 election. 740,000 ballots were identified that are missing chain of custody documentation, which they are required by law to have in order to be valid. So the new Maricopa County investigation finds an additional 740,000 ballots that have no, um, no chain of custody whatsoever. Um, and the canvassing work estimated nearly 300,000 ballot issues, while well, the audit re, uh, found over 400,000 ballot issues. These results are in addition to the above chain of custody issues. So altogether, we've got about 1.4 million ballot issues in Arizona alone 
identified today. These are all fraudulent, illegal ballots, 99% of which probably went to Joe Biden, the state that he allegedly won by 10,000 votes. There are 2 million ballot issues for the 2020 election identified in Georgia since Election Day. Um, and Joe Biden was awarded the state by 12,000 votes. And in Pennsylvania, 2.5 million ballots were invalid in the 2020 election. A court rule ruled the manner in which the state managed and allowed for absentee ballots before and since 2020 was not constitutional, which means that a very large percent of the absentee ballots in the 2020 election were invalid in Pennsylvania. They were roughly 2.5 million absentee ballots in the state, where eight, of which 80% were for Biden. Take away the 2 million ballots in that election for Biden and half a million for President Trump, and you have around 1.5 million invalid ballots in a state that Biden was supposedly uh, won by 100,000, but uh, roughly 2 million of his votes were therefore invalid. Therefore, Trump wins Pennsylvania as well. The question is when or if is any of this stuff going to happen? Well, a, part, a lot of it depends on the unpopularity of the guy in the White House, and that is skyrocketing, as we know, partly in because of inflation. Now, today they admitted that the inflation rate has hit 7.5%, the highest annual increase in 40 years since the Jimmy Carter administration, higher than expected at a tough half a point in one month. They were expecting a 7.2% increase. They got a 7.5% increase. Now, remember, inflation was tamed from the 1980s. They no longer include energy prices, and energy prices are critical to inflation is they drive the cost of everything that's produced up. Therefore, they are the, basically what you're saying is we're taking the main driver of inflation out of the equation. If it was added up and all everything put together, the inflation rate would be probably around 18 or 20%, which is what it was back when Jimmy Carter was president. The real inflation rate is far worse. Things are costing more because the fiat dollar is the valuing. And the devaluation of the fiat dollar means that we are closer and closer to some sort of financial reset. The question, of course, is what kind of financial reset? And yesterday on uh, Jean-Claude's uh, Beyond Mystic special report on the Canadian truckers, he had Tara with Benin on, and she talked about that a little bit. Let's watch this sequence here real quick. Uh, thanks for looking, uh, looking for Oh, okay. Um, could you tell us if the RV, the call that for now, this is how it's questioned, will happen before the end of February? This is from Laura V in the Discord channel. That one just popped out while I was doing it, so we'll get to that in a minute, because that's all new territory, and they're looking at, and or, like, that's almost like a yes itself, as the, he's holding one wand there, but let's hang on. It's interesting that it just popped out. Yeah. Okay, now I got yes. And uh, this this could, like it can be an off-worlder, but it's also about uh, vulnerability. So I think they've been being careful because there was some vulnerability about doing it various different times they had planned. Mm -hmm. I've been getting that a lot where they're looking at the, the best date, but they don't want to make either people receiving the funds vulnerable or the funds themselves vulnerable. So every time they perceive that, that they're, you know, it's vulnerable, you know, the bad guys trying to get it all, yeah. uh, they, they shut it all down. This is what we've been hearing. Okay. So yeah, it's, I'm trying to get a date here. Hang on. I mean, that, that dates don't always, you know, they come and go, but let's see what we can get right now. What's the projected date right now? No, it's not, doesn't even want to tell. Every day they look at it. So it's all ready to go with that Ace of Pentacles. It's a thing and it's ready to go, but it's every day they're looking at it. So the fool, so got to be at the right place at the right time with that card. So that means they're looking at it every day, but it's been vulnerable to various different potential attacks or something. Right. Uh, people in the chat are putting the two, 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 twos up there. Uh, so um, what you're saying here is that the, you know, the currency reset is part of Nasara Jasara, Nasara Jasara. So if that is the case, what she is saying is kind of confirming Jen's Gentel, which is February. So that's this month. We're in it right now, um, and I think that there's a very good opportunity, very good possibility that this will happen. 
sometime soon. Remember, Jen said on the 12th on Saturday, there would be some sort of something that would happen, some sort of announcement, some sort of significant game changer. So um, that will be really interesting. So, you know, we're looking forward to that. And um, that's really the most important stuff in the news right now. It's not a big news night. Uh, Phil supposedly is going to do a live stream tonight where he's going to have some interesting intel. At least he's promising that. Uh, we shall see what we shall see on on that one. So, um, you know, again, other than that, guys, just please remember that this live stream will be taken down after the uh, what happened to my background? Why did I have my favorite background up? Let's do that. There we go. Um, that, you know, things are getting ready to happen. Things are getting ready to pop. That's the information we get from everybody. Please do not forget that this live stream will be taken down off YouTube as soon as we're completed here. There will be no more um, YouTube stuff. We do this just to protect the account from being hit so we can live stream to as many people as possible on YouTube, the YouTube channel. Uh, but it will always be, always be available on mikebarra.blogspot.com as long as mikebarra.blogspot.com exists. If it suddenly disappears, and the shows are no longer on here, that means that I have been taken down. I will not abandon this channel. I will not take this site down. It will be there, absolutely be there for you guys. So uh, what you do is you come in here, you watch the live stream. It'll actually take you to Rumble, where you can go over and uh, watch the show on Rumble. If you go to Rumble, look for a search for channels, do Real News Live, go on in, create a Rumble subscription. We've only got 1,389 subscribers. Let's get that number up over on Rumble. Let's get it up to 150,000. Let's get it up to 200,000. Let's get it going. Let's get this channel popular. Real News Live on Rumble. Also want to remind everybody that uh, where am I going with this? The Ungoverned T-Shirt Company.com are our wonderful sponsors. The Ungoverned T-Shirt Company.com, where you can get all kinds of cool patriotic gear, like baseball caps and stickers and beanies and Child Lives Matter shirts and mugs and MAGA stickers and Fake News Creates Fear T-Shirts and socks and patches and the Obama Trader, Trader T-Shirt and my personal favorites, the MAGA or Obamagate long sleeve T-Shirt or crew neck sweatshirt in either black or beige. The ungoverned t-shirt company.com, ungovernedtees.com, true patriot gear for true patriots. And I might remind you, if you would like to send me some love for doing these daily shows, I can always use that. In fact, I have a tooth that's got, I got a wisdom tooth that's got to get pulled. It's going to cost me $1,000. Anybody wants to help me with that, please PayPal me at paypal.me slash Mike Barra or at Venmo at at Mike Dash Barra, paypal.me slash Mike Barra or Venmo at Mike Dash Barra. Yes, they are the parents. The Ungoverned T-shirt company people are the parents of uh, Shay Colombo, who is our wonderful guest. And also, I am trying to arrange, not for this Saturday on Saturday Night Live, but for a week from Saturday, I am trying to arrange to have uh, the girl in question uh, who was with me when I got this tattoo to try to tell you the true story of how I got my Masonic tattoo. Those of you who continue to claim that I'm actually a Freemason when I'm not, I got drunk, I got a Masonic tattoo just to F with you guys. Um, she'll, looks like right now she's gonna be on to, to share her side of the story as to what happened. So looking forward to that. All right, let's go to the questions over here in the chat, see what everybody's got. And then we're gonna get out of here for a quick uh, update today. Ivermectin prevents cancer. Yes, it does. I completely forgot I was going to mention that. Let's go to Twitter. Let's go over to my profile. Let's go to my links and look at this study. Oh, there's a lot of Russell Wilson stuff. There's some flat earth stuff. Uh, where did I put the link to the ivermectin study? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Um, Barry Sanders. Yeah, yeah, Barry Sanders. Barry Sanders, by the way, Barry Sanders was a great back, but he's by no means the best of all time. I, I just, you know, no, he had no power. He had, if you hit him, he was down. Catching him, he was like a gnat. Catching him was difficult, but uh, if you got a hold of him, he went down. All right, so. It turns out that there is a new study from uh, the NIH, National Institutes of Health, 
and other organizations which have decided to tell you that guess what ivermectin is a potential anti-cancer drug derived from an anti-parasitic drug the general the abstract says ivermectin is a powerful anti has powerful anti-tumor effects including the inhibition of proliferation metastasis 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 yeah and and angiogenic activity in a variety of cancer cells. This may be related to the regulation of multiple signaling pathways by ivermectin through the PAC-1 kinase. On the other hand, hand, ivermectin promotes programmed cancer cell death, including apostis, autophagy, autophagy and prio... I should have pre-read this. Priopatosis. Ivermectin induces apoptosis. Apoptosis and aphagy is mutually regulated. Interestingly, ivermectin can also inhibit tumor stem cells and reverse multidrug resistance and exerts the optimal effect when used in combination with other chemotherapy drugs. Um, it then goes on to say that it's a uh, antiparasitic drug with a 16 membered ring is widely used for treatment of many parasitic diseases, such as river blindness, elephantiasis, and scabies, blah, 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 blah. It's been reported to inhibit the proliferation of several tumor cells by regulating multiple signaling pathways. This suggests that ivermectin may be an anti-cancer drug with great potential. Here, we reviewed the related mechanisms by which ivermectin inhibited the development of different cancers and promoted program cell death and discussed the prospects for clinical application of ivermectin as an anti-cancer drug. Okay, so again, this is to me another sign that the truth is coming out. They are now willing to tell you willing to tell you that ivermectin could be a cure for cancer if only Rush Limbaugh had taken it before he succumbed. It's just really a shame. Um, yes, that is the case. So that's good news. And again, if you don't have any, please go to, please go to Dr. Brooks Agnew's site. Let me get that up there. Uh, Brooks Agnew, books, Brooks, not books, Brooks Agnew store. Okay, open up. So if you were to go to Brooks's store and Scroll down to where, hi Barkley, scroll down to where you see the uh, red uh, stripe. You go to the therapeutic special report. You can pick up your special report about Ivan and about Roxy. You can pick up both Ivan and Roxy. They will be delivered directly to your door along with the very special report. And I would think Brooks would need to be updating his report now to include the fact that Ivermectin, Ivan now apparently cures cancer. So pick up your Ivan and Roxy now as soon as you can. I get nothing from this. Brooks gets five bucks. So uh, one day closer to waiting one less day for something to happen. Yep. <clears throat> Sandy Maynard is here. Hi, Sandy. Ron Starr, I hate you. 77 in San Jose. Jennifer Gadbaugh is here and listening and recovering from knee surgery. Well, we hope you get well soon, Jennifer. That sucks. Deep Throat Thursday. No, 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 not quite yet. Uh, Kimberly Reck is here. Karen is here. Alice Rivers is looking forward to a great show. I don't have much of a show for you, Alice. Not, not a lot of details and no Jen to do, give us Jen tell. But Jen is saying some interesting stuff. She was over on Telegram. And let me find our little Jen Jen. She did say that take us with a great assault. I woke up from a dream where I was talking to someone. I don't remember who, but I heard this whole thing is over in March. And she keeps seeing Chuck Grassley in her head. We shall see if that prophecy comes to pass. Remember our foul-mouthed little prophetess. She's saying it's over in March. Uh, Salat, the uh, Canadian judge, ruled that the truckers had a right to peaceful protest. Yeah, that's another thing that Janine said in her Tarot by Janine uh, yesterday special report was that Trudeau was out. She agreed with Jen that Trudeau was out. So, um, Bill's Mafia hitman, his year's resolution is to not be systemically racist anymore. I'm going to be blatantly racist from now on. Congratulations, dude. Congratulations. 
Uh, they are criminals. They are criminals. Oh, there you are. There's Jen, because no one is going to is going there. That's right. That's right. So, um, okay. New York Governor Hochul just dropped mass mandates at businesses, but kept the mandate for school kids. Yeah, psychotic. These people are sick. Um, part shortages for U.S. automakers. Don't buy a car. Jen Jen is here. My mic is cutting out. Is anybody else experiencing that? Let me let me switch over to a different mic. Let's go to audio. That's Yeti steady mic. Okay. Go with the webcam microphone. Let me know, uh, please, anybody, if anything, if it's better. Is this microphone better? No vax or masks at the Oscars. That's good. You say it sounds good already. Audio is fine. My mic is fine. Lily of the Fox Valley says no. That's worse. It's not now, but it was before. Now is worse. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's let's go back and switch back to the Yeti. Audio back to E. Okay, so this should be better. I theoretically be better. So, all right, back up to the top. It was 80 and ready. Oh, I hate you. Um, <clears throat> so jealous. So, so jealous. We don't know what's going to go on with the Super Bowl this weekend. Jen said yesterday that there's a possibility that it will be delayed or pushed back or it will be shut down. So we shall have to wait and see what happens. Uh, a lot of times the mic cutting out is actually your connection issues or it could be another connection issue. So let's go over to Rumble real quick and see if there's any conversation going on over there in Rumble Rants. I'm not seeing anything. We only have 119 people in Rumble. You know, Jen, the audience is much smaller when you're not on the show. It's much smaller. Um, okay. Yeah, Jennifer, da, 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 anything else? Crack bike Biden has pooped his pants more than any other four presidents combined. It's probably two. Uh, why is Biden still in office? You got me. You got me. It, it's time to get him out of there. Um, yeah, they're saying that HIV variant, et cetera, is coming to cover the side effects from the vax. Liberty justice, that's exactly right. It's in fact the vax that is damaging people's uh, immune systems. So... What diet for inflammation? Yeah, I definitely need something for the inflammation in my tooth. It it It's like, it's okay as long as I don't push down on it. When I push down, oh God, it just shoots through my hole. I had a, I had a wisdom tooth pulled on this side last year. I'm going to have to have it on this side. It's just my, my gagging reflex is so strong that it's literally just like horrific for me to go to the dentist. Really, really horrific. Uh... Liberty Justice would not have sex with a vax man. Well, Liberty, may I present myself as a pureblood? Um, jab is a real population reducer. Yes, a lot of opinions over here today. Phil is live at 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific. That's correct. He says he's got something big, but he always says he has something. Well, he doesn't always say that, but he generally does say he's got some big stuff. And trust me, you don't want to miss it. Um, have them in Minneapolis, too. I've only been asked a couple of times about being maskless at the grocery store. One asked if I could... If I would take a mask, I just said, why? Are you sick? That's good. That's good, Patro, Patco Incorporated. That's what I would do. Uh, yeah, Fraudchi is actually backing off now, too. Three weeks ago, he said, we're just at the beginning of the pandemic. Now he's saying, oh, we're getting close to the end. Jeez, whatever. Hello, Laura Yoder. Yoder how are you? 
Um, use garlic clove for tooth pain. Okay, I will try that. I am a free man, son. Yeah, get a bottle of neem tooth and gum oil. Okay, all right. Let me write that down. It would just be nice to have some relief before I have this thing yanked out of my mouth. So, because it's not cheap, it's much more expensive. Neem tooth and gum oil. Also, I wanted to say congratulations to my old buddy Christian Mioli. He became a father recently, which shocked me because I didn't know he had a girl. Um, will Ivor help an enlarged prostate? I don't know that question. Probably not. I don't think that's what it's for. Uh, yeah, I do have some hydrogen peroxide or some glyoxide. I got to go pick up some more of that today. Barry Sanders was quick as a hiccup. Yeah, but he had no power. Once you got your hands on him, he went down. I mean, I, I don't consider him, I consider him a top, but I mean, all I ever see is him just dancing all over the place and going horizontally and then occasionally breaking away for a big one. I don't know. I, I just, I never thought, wow, it's fourth and one. I've got to get one yard. Is Barry Sanders the guy I want to hand the ball to? No, because he's not going to. It's not going to overpower anybody, but um, great back for sure. Just feel like he's really overrated. Bo Jackson is the most incredible running back I've ever seen. Uh, anyway. Um, Rick Norman says, I've always heard said that about Sanders. You're the only other man I've ever heard say that. Very vastly underrated. Couldn't block either. Oh, you mean overrated. Uh, yeah, I mean, great at dancing all over the place, but... Um, you know, I don't know. I just, I, I just, when I think of a running back, I think of a guy that's going to get me those two yards I need. Um, Deborah Thomas says, my dog used three work, weeks worth of ivermectin for scabies and had no side effects. Well, that's great. That's great. Put ground cloves maybe even some dried orange peel and cheesecloth and make a pouch and tuck it into the tooth and bite down. Spit as needed. It works. Okay. Wow. Uh, it has been one month and I still haven't received my Ivan. I would expect it. I got, I just got some from Brooks yesterday. So uh, the day before. Hi, Linda Ransom. How are you? How are you? Uh, yeah, Ivor works. Put it in your crack pipe and smoke it, Biden. <laughs> uh, I don't know who you're talking about here. That that Mike Penny guy? Elvis was going to show up in Texas. Christian says, my mic is fine. So maybe it's your reception. The, like, the mic is fine now. It's like you were coming from the moon in the beginning when you shared something. Okay. Trying to, time to, trying to figure out what the issue is with the audio. Yeah, I noticed yesterday on the replay that the audio I was like performing come, it sounded like I was coming from the moon. Um, Again, Paco Incorporated, so glad I got some Ivan early on. I ended up needing it about the time it arrived. Pretty sure it was the Kung Flu. Hit hard and fast, four days, and it was over. Symptoms reduced the first day. Good for you. Good for you. Um, they're saying it's a very effective cancer inhibitor, that it stops cancer. I don't think it prevents it, but, uh, you know, that's what the paper says that I just showed you. So, uh, yeah, I meant Ivan clears eye floaters. Appears to have cleared mine up anyway. Yeah, I have turmeric, turmeric, but okay, I'm trusting you on the clove patch thing. The oldest, rarest scotch was just released a mere 125,000 a bottle. I'll date the guy who gives me a shot of that. <laughs> Gonna have to do more than date him post joy. Okay. Sorry. Uh, what do I want from Jack and box? Oh, the usual Dave, I'll have the, uh, I'll have the, uh, sausage bay, uh, egg biscuit. So. P 
pure Chad seed. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. They have to say we're at the end for the sake of Biden's State of the Union address. I worry that as soon as that's over, they're going to go back again. Yep. That's what. Yeah, uh, sweetie, I did see that. I did see that the, you just sent me uh, what I need. Until then, use Oragel. Okay, I'll do that, and I'll get some hydrogen peroxide. It just—I don't know if it's infected back there, but I just—I bit on it. It went wild, and now just my whole nerve stem thing is just going crazy, just like it did on this side last year, year and a half ago. They say so. I'm gonna have to get that sucker yanked. But it's so traumatic for me because my gagging reflex is so intense. But uh, there are dentists just down the street here. At my appointment too is not until. I can't get into the till the twenty second is the earliest I could find somebody, and they'll put me on some Valium and um, shoot me up and stuff. And you know, I don't know. It's just really, really uh, not good. Jen recommended the neem oil and toothpaste. I am using it now. Okay. Well, this is pretty. It's pretty severe. Pretty severe case. I just tried to eat some toast and avoided that side, and just the slightest little touch just went. I always use clove patch for toothache and it works fine for me, but what does it taste like? Uh, or just go to the health food store and get Uncle Harry's toothache drops put in water and gargle. I don't gargle. I can't really do that. Okay, more advice. Mike, I broke a tooth in 2018. Ibuprofen did nothing, took a friend's advice and went to GNC clove oil stop the pain in one minute have to put a drop in every hour or two all right sounds like i need to get some clove oil uh yeah if i have an infection i don't know if i have an infection or if i just have a bad tooth that needs to come out uh got two ivans and one roxy was one was held up but it came have patience that's correct have patience the fake plasma moon on the domed flat earth. Here's just a question I want to ask the flat earthers. If the moon is just a projection, okay, why are women's menstrual cycles tied to the 27-day orbital cycle of the moon? If the moon does not have mass, if it does not have uh, bulk angular momentum, spin energy, that from experiments in my book, The Choice, The Choice, that I demonstrate categorically, categorically affect electromagnetics and electromagnetic waves, which are your thoughts and your behaviors. If that is not true, then why do women have menstrual cycles on a, on a, why are they on a lunar cycle? If the moon is just a projection, can't answer that one. Can you pick this book up the choice? It's my best book. In fact, it's dedicated to, it is dedicated to the girl who's going to come on and tell you all about my Masonic tattoo, assuming she can remember. How long can you safely take Ivan for? Uh, as, as long as you need to. I would do a cycle of five days, give it a couple days off, and then start another one. That's just me. Dave Barra has ordered my Jack in the Box sausage biscuit with egg and cheese. Awesome. Uh... Linda wants the breakfast plate, Dave, Barra. So, uh, I've seen Barry Sanders in person once. He's very short. I always thought he was bigger. Yeah, it is interesting. Uh, I saw Warren Moon at a uh, car wash in Manhattan Beach, California. And, you know, he looks small on the field, right? He's a quarterback. He was a quarterback. This is a couple years after he retired in the mid 2000s. And he was like so beefy and built and muscular. And I'm looking at that and I'm going, Jesus, you can't play football, Mike Barrett. You could never play football. Uh, eye floaters are often a Lyme disease indicator. True for me, Lyme is parasitic, and also Ivor is indicated for it in Lyme treatment. That would explain why the, the floaters go away. Uh, if it's on the top, it could be sinus. It's back here, though, Jen. You know, it's definitely the tooth is super sensitive if you touch it, so... Uh, might get some cortisol mouthwash to kill any bad things in there and get, then get some Sensodyne with Novamin. It rebuilds enamel. That's why they don't sell it in the U.S. Get it on eBay. God, I've got all kinds of great uh, advice here. 
Mike, try every remedy here and tell us what works best. I think the clove oil thing is going to go and the, the uh, glyoxide, the hydrogen peroxide. Uh, thank you, Buck, for the healing energy. I do appreciate that. Um, I had hydrogen peroxide. Oh, I also have that that chlorine dioxide stuff. Maybe I should take some of that. Full moon astrology. Yep, you feel it. Do we know that for sure? Women's menstrual cycles. Yes, we do know that they are tied to the moon. Uh, half my face was semi-paralyzed for one month. After my wisdom teeth removal, I was drooling. My dentist was worried he was going to get sued, so he told me to overdose on vitamin B12 to rush the capillaries with blood. It worked. Interesting. <laughs> that's that's easy, Mike. Women are affected by bright, shiny things. That's too. They, they do like bright, shiny things. Um, okay. I'm hoping I'm going to try all this stuff. Like Jen said. The moon, a while back, the moon has a bunch of skyscrapers with giant praying, giant praying mantises inside them. Everybody knows that. And she is correct. She is correct. Uh, okay. Anybody else? I think we have reached the end of the chat. Okay, guys, that's what I have. Uh, clove and frankincense. No, because then I'll smell like Apollo Hysteria, which I don't really want to smell like. Uh, yeah, get some pliers. All right, guys, that is going to be it. Short uh, show today. Watch Phil at four o'clock. I will try to um, live telegram the Phil show on my from my phone here as I'm watching it. If anything interesting comes up, we'll ask Jen about it in the morning. Love you guys. I don't have any deep thoughts other than thank you for all the advice about how to help my toothache. I really do appreciate that. Um, and love you guys for all your support. We'll be back again tomorrow with a meaningful, meaningful free reading Friday. And don't forget two Saturday night lives from now. The girl who was with me when I got the Masonic tattoo is going to come on and tell her side of the story. At least that's a preliminary booking. Other than that, we'll see you uh, guys tomorrow um, for free reading Friday and then Saturday night for Saturday night live. Unless, of course, something so super exciting happens that the internet is shut off. Other than that, we'll be there uh, for you guys. Me and I hope Brooks and Blake and Candace will be joining you. All right. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Have a great one.